To get started, you can type Looker Studio. Click on Create. We will use Report. Connect with the data that we want to use for creating the dashboard. So for that, you can find the link below in description area. When you go to that link, vehicle.csv. So that's the one we want. I'm going to download this. So it gets downloaded as vehicle.csv on my computer. When you select File Upload, click to Upload Files. Under Downloads, that's the first file I have. When it turns green, so that means the file is uploaded. Add and then Add to Report. So it gives you a default table, but we can get rid of that. Under Data, FM is Failure Month, LC Labor Cost, LH labor hours, MC is material cost, mileage is mileage at the car failure, state in which the car failed and vehicle is just the vehicle number like 1234 and the plan is to create an interactive dashboard to get quick insights into this data set. We can name our report as vehicle failure analysis, theme and layout, customize, let's go with black, let's go to layout. So under Converse Size, if you click on this drop down, 16 by 9 landscape. We can provide a title at the top, also some key metrics at the top. So let's make use of a rectangle. So for the color, I'm going to go with the second one after dark black. I plan to use two geographic maps to create some room for that. I'm again going to select rectangle. Somewhere here you have midpoint. I'll go slightly less than that so that there's some small gap. So we'll use the second black from left. We can copy and paste. Since our data is related to vehicles, in the last row I plan to use four gauges. So we'll create a room for that. So somewhere here we have one fourth. So I'll go slightly below second black color from left. We'll copy and paste three times. Now let's uh, populate the top row. So let's use this text tool. Let's increase font size to about 36. And for filling this box, let's use fourth one from the left, bold. So the title seems to be slightly on the upper side. So I'm going to use this padding. Let me try 16. Add a chart and select scorecard, second one. When you go to style, let's select the fourth one from the left. For size, let's go to 36. And we can bring it to center. Under setup, when you click on this edit tool, we can also give a title here. So this is number of uh, failures. Now let's copy and paste uh, three more. In the second box, let's use LC. So when you drag and drop it here and click on this metric edit option. If we go to data type, currency, go all the way down towards US dollar. The next box, MC which is material cost and for the number we can again say it's a currency US dollar so we are talking about roughly seven hundred thousand dollars for labor plus material cost for the last box let's bring in mileage and drop it here instead of sum we can select average for the left part we'll make use of numbers and for the right part of this dashboard we'll use cost so in this rectangle, let's add a chart. Go to Geo Chart and we can drop it here. So let's drag state and drop it under Geo Dimension. So this data had only states within US. When it sees IN for Indiana, it thinks it is India and uh, MN, it's labeling Mongolia and so on. So let's go to this edit option under Geo Dimension. Click there and then data type. When you go to the drop down under Geo, you can see you have various options. US is the country 
and first level of uh, subdivision is states so let's select that let's use a text box to give a title here now let's copy and paste this if i put uh, labor cost because the number of failures in some states are high obviously total labor cost will be high in those states that will not help us in any comparison that we want to make go to data and under data add a field and then add calculated field lc slash which means divided by lh so i'm going to name this as cph cost per hour save done now you'll see a field called cph is added and we can drag and drop cph for metric so that is cost per hour and we want to use average here because this is cost related for the max color red for min green for the middle we can use yellow go to view this is how our interactive dashboard looks like if you click on california so for example this box says in california there were 200 car failures total labor cost was $57000 plus and so on if you go to community visualizations and components let's use the one by google put that in the first box so for metric instead of count i'm going to drag and drop mileage and then select average mileage let's go to style so 0 to 50000 so for green we can choose 0 to 15000 and then for yellow section 15000 to 30000 and for red we can say 30000 to 50000 so when you click on various states and see how much this dial changes uh this is too wide a range we need to make some adjustment so i'm going to click on this uh, edit so now if we check with like different states you may see the gauge is being used in a better way let's copy this and paste one more time copy paste for the third box and one last time for the second one let's use failure month so let's go to setup drag and drop fm to mileage let's go inside and edit and say simply month and use average let's go to style and play around 9 so i'm going to say 4 as minimum upper is 15 months and then we say 4 to 8 8 to 12 12 to 15 and just quickly check so probably 15 is too large so that should work better with various states for the cost related metrics for the first gauge let's use average labor cost per repair i'm going to drag lc labor cost and drop it under metric for mileage and then say we want average and we can say this is labor cost for the last one we can use a uh, mc here material cost so let's go to setup and drag mc and drop it over metric so now our interactive dashboard seems to be ready in the top row you get some key metrics so first half we are using for numbers and second half is mainly for cost you can click on any state not only the numbers but you also get the comparison for example in this state there were 10 failures in terms of mileage at failure it was close to average most of the failures occurred on the higher side in terms of time which is month here uh, labor cost was not very high and material cost was also under control in green and then uh, the other numbers change automatically when you look at the top So this was a very quick overview of how to create an interactive dashboard in Google's Looker Studio. I hope that you found this useful. Thanks for watching. See you soon.